Okay, we got this 2011 F-150. Uh, we got an airbag light on. So we got our top dot scanner, 500. We're gonna pull the codes on it and see if we can figure out why this airbag light's on. The truck was in a accident on the left front corner, but it did not blow any bags and it was a minor accident, just bent a bumper. But we're gonna check it out and see what we can find. So let's pull the clothes on it. Now we gotta get logged in. Hold on a minute. This thing, if you don't use it for a while, let me get the verification code. Hey, Drake, check your phone. Check your Gmail, see what the verification code is. Five one eight three. Yes. Thanks, sir. Well, if I could hit it, eight three. It's showing a little better. Let me crank this thing so it don't go dead on them. Oh man, we got some updates. It's been a while since we had it plugged up. We'll update it in a minute. Let's try to check these codes right now. Read the van. Confirm. The reason I know that's a van right up here. <laughs> Confirm. AM ready with CD navigation swell. Uh, I'm not sure on this because it's got an aftermarket one. So we're gonna say AMF radio with CD. Let's do auto scan. ABS and our brakes, power run boards, tire pressure, restraint control module. Read DTCs. This vehicle must prepare a self test. Do not activate vehicle switch during this test. Yes. Driver's front stage one deployment control current. Driver front stage one deployment control current. History, history. So I'm gonna clear them. Like I said, we should have everything hooked up. Ignition on, engine off. Sorry about that. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. History ones, stage one to pull. Evidently, yeah, this thing deployed the airbags at one time. They must have changed the airbag. Yes. Wow. Well, let's see what the history says. Read them 
again. So you can pull up Google here and it'll give you what the code is. So I'm gonna read and do some research on this and then I'll check back with you. Okay, so I watched a, I watched a video on that code right there and the main reason for that code is a faulty clock spring. And when we got this truck in, the rack and pinion was broke and this steering wheel would just go around and around. So I guarantee you, somebody just spun it around and around and broke the clock spring so we're gonna have to pull this thing apart see if we can get a clock spring out of one of these others and replace the clock spring okay so according to our code we got a bad clock spring right here is a clock spring off of that uh 2010 we're gonna replace it you gotta remove the airbag steering wheel and all that so we're gonna do that right quick then we're gonna put the scanner on and see what it says from there so let me get this replaced and then we'll hook back okay, up to we got scanner. a new clock spring in so we're gonna hook the scanner up first we need to hook our battery up and we're gonna see if that fixed your codes got ground cable back on i'm just gonna stick it on like this. I'll tighten it up in a second. But we won't pull the scanner up and see. See if we can clear it now. Well, we're gonna have to update. So let me run it through the update right quick, and then we'll check our codes. Okay, got our scanner updated. It looks to me like the airbag light might already be off. We may not even have to clear them anymore. We're gonna go ahead and run it through the process just to be sure. But what had happened is, like I said this earlier, the steering uh, rag and pinion was broke and somebody just got in here and turned this steering wheel around and around and it just turned this clock spring around and around and around and it broke it. So then it wouldn't read and write and everything like that. So that's why we had to replace it. Let's see, diagnostics. Go back through the whole deal here. Forward. Automatic. Read in. Confirm. Confirm F-150-2011. Uh, AM ready with CD. Auto scan. Restraint control module. Read DTCs. This vehicle must prepare a self-test, yes. So it's running it through the test, checking all the sensors, relays, all that kind of stuff. You can hear how it starts doing that. A lot of times you start Clicking. See now, then we're just saying history. Clear these TCs. Ignition on and engine off. Yes. No trouble codes. So we got it fixed. We're going to crank it up just to be sure. Make sure the see the airbag light right there. Crank it up. Airbag lights off. Low tire pressure. I think we got about three of them. So that's how you. Whoop, sorry about that. That is how you hook up the Top Don scanner to the airbag. Check the airbag codes in the F-150. We found the code. It was the. Uh, oh, I'm having bad trouble thinking. It was the clock spring. We replaced the clock spring. Hooked everything back up. Code's gone. Scanner says it's gone. Good to go. 256 garage out.